Stop number four of the Steel Timber Sports Series lands in Canandaigua, New York, as eight lumberjacks meet with one goal, claim one of four spots to the championships in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. So it seems like every time we go to a new region, there's a guy. Correct. There is the guy to watch. In this region, I think we got two guys really to watch. The, the veterans in this region, Mike Sullivan, Dave Jewett. Correct. But Dave, the local boy. Can he keep it together? Can he? I mean, he's got home field advantage. I, I got to tell you, if he doesn't win four events today, I'm going to kick him in the pants. But the hot saw and the stock saw is where Dave's going to have to watch his back because you got some of the strongest hot sawyers in this pool and stock sawyers in this pool in this in region. North, in this it's region, just, yeah. it's it's fanatical. I mean, you got Richard Jordan, Jerry Jingris, who are a hot saw and stock saw specialist. I'm going to call someone out today at the stock saw. <laughs> I'm going to make a prediction. Okay, go for it. Jerry Jingris is going to win the stock saw today. And here's the reason why Jerry Jingris is going to win it. Jerry Jingris is the quickest man with a chainsaw in the world. Mm -hmm. I've seen him go 0.5 seconds getting the saw in the wood. 0.5. I don't know about winning the stock saw. This is probably the toughest field of stock saws that I've ever seen, but uh, certainly been doing a fair amount of training and look forward to it. The power sports business owner Jerry Jingris takes on the logger from Connecticut, Richard Jordan. The time to beat, just over 12 seconds. Both of these next competitors have a good shot of beating that time. Richard Jordan from Connecticut, Jerry Jingris from Vermont. Both these guys, power saw operators. Jerry Jingris exceptionally fast to the wood. And look at the smooth transition from Jerry Jingris, dangerously close to letting the bar go back into the block. And 11-3 showing up on that unofficial clock. Richard Jordan not far off his heels. Jerry Jingris picks up the win in the stock saw and gains maximum RAM overall points. Jamie brought me some good luck there. Um, got off to a good start. I figured I must have been right on the right on the start with Richard. And the saw pulled into the wood real good and, and uh, just went real smooth, felt good. 54-year-old Mike Sullivan is looking to rebound after DQing in the stock saw as he readies to wield a seven-pound razor on a stick against Richard Jordan in the standing block. Mike Sullivan, on the other hand, seems to feed off that pressure. And I, I, I just can't explain it. It's almost like that give me the ball mentality, I'm gonna run it in, coach. You know, Mike is the prototypical alpha male. Yeah. You make him angry, watch out. Yeah. And so that's what happens. If he does poorly, he doesn't get upset. He just says, I'm gonna pin my ears back and go harder the next time. Sullivan with a safe two and two opening. The chips are clearing. He's just about there on the near side. Jordan, though, is around, but a big hang up. He's almost hesitating the back side of this block. I wonder if he had a musher on the front side. It's a little crispier on the back. He opened it one and one, but the chip just did not release. Richard Jordan punching it in the guts. Wow. The Vegas odd makers are scrambling right now, trying to make sense of what just happened in that heat. Less than half a second separates the close finish of Jordan and Sullivan. Now, Will Roberts, the forest technician from Groton, New York, will face the overall leader and number one seed, Dave Jewett. Timer ready. Contestants ready. Three, two, one. Both these guys with hang-ups. Jewett seems to overcome. Robert, the troubles continue. Big flaky slabs coming out for Roberts, actually causing his ax to skip down for a miss hit. It is Jewett around first. He seems to be losing pace a little bit in the back of this block. He's gonna have to get it rolling as we come up on the 22nd mark. Roberts is reeling him in. Steve Jewett, two fists in the air, a 23 second. Wow, Roberts comes blasting through as well. Oh, well, I had the advantage of watching the heats before me. I knew the wood was a little sticky, and then I better sit back and really tough those hits in. I usually put two up in the front and turn. I put three as an insurance policy, and it paid off. That was tough. Come on! Dave Jewett takes his second win of the day in the standing block after setting a 2013 record in the first event of the day. 
It's time for the Ram Guts and Glory moment. Dua took the win in the springboard with a time just under 56 seconds, beating Harry Burnsworth's season's best time of 59.60. All across the nation, steel dealer days are happening now with great values on the number one selling brand of outdoor power equipment in America. It's the best time to shop our full line of grass trimmers, easy handling blowers, and legendary chainsaws. Plus, you can still register to win a piece of our $100,000 product sweepstakes. Hurry, steel dealer days end soon. Steel Timber Sports Series is brought to you by Ram, official truck of the Steel Timber Sports Series. Guts, glory, Ram. And by Steel, the number one selling brand of chainsaws worldwide. The Steel Timber Sports Series continues from Finger Lakes Community College in Canandaigua, New York. After three disciplines, the number one seed Dave Jewett sits alone atop the leaderboard and ram overall points. Now the eight Lumberjacks ready for an event that will work their entire body as they push and pull a six foot saw through a lawn in the single box. Single buck action, Gabe Darling, stand number one. He is back in eighth place in Ram overall points. Calvin Willard, this guy is impressing the heck out of me. He's currently sitting in second. Willard with that very characteristic Mercier flat style start. We've just disrupted that logic at a demo just last night. Mike Sullivan was giving us a little coaching. He said, you know what, too flat. Gabe Darling with lots of slope on that saw, horses it off, got look at his photo finish, an 18.6 showing on the unofficial clock. What a race. Uh, a little tight at the bottom, but overall, I'm, I'm okay with it. The photo finish shows Calvin Willard over Gabe Darling. Willard sets the pace at just over 18 and a half seconds. Now, the logger from Connecticut, Richard Jordan, steps in to face Jerry Gingras. Jerry Gingras getting some support from Nancy Zaleski. She flew out here from the Midwest. She is the women's single butt champ. Richard Jordan, his saw just hauling through the wood. Look at the noodles fall out. Both these guys with a very close finish. Richard Jordan takes the heat and jumps to first in the single buck, besting Willard's time by nearly half a second. So it seems like every time we go to a new region, there's a guy. Correct. There is the guy to watch, Dave Jewett. I gotta tell you, if he doesn't win four events today, I'm gonna kick him in the pants. Of the six disciplines we've got here today, what four do you think he should be coming out on top of? Dave should come out on top in the springboard, the underhand, the standing block, and the single buck, particularly the springboard and the single buck. Dave Jew had a tough go in the stock saw earlier, coming out in sixth place overall. Looking to continue his points domination as he did in the other disciplines. He's currently sitting first in Ram overall points. Oh, in trouble I stand number one. I can't believe this. Mike Sullivan, a hang up at the top. He needs to get this thing moving. He's not going to catch Dave Jewett, who is motoring through the bottom of the block. Sullivan can't worry about that. He's got to be looking for points. I can't believe the disaster continues for Mike Sullivan. You know, Mike is the prototypical alpha male. You make him angry, watch out. Yeah. And so that's what happens. If he does poorly, he doesn't get upset. He just says, I'm gonna pin my ears back and go harder the next time. And that's what he does. Even after a bumpy start in the single buck, Mike Sullivan lands in the fourth spot and ram overall points just inside the bubble, while Dave Jewett extends his first place lead. Only one chopping event remains. Time is running out for the Lumberjacks to make the jump into the top four. Grab their championship ticket. 
Finger Lakes Community College is a two-year community college situated in the heart of the Finger Lakes on a beautiful 250-acre campus. It's the perfect location for a successful woodsman's team. It's a tradition here since 1974 started by Marty Dodge. The classroom work and the woodsman's team experience, the two complement each other beautifully well. You talk about leadership, commitment, skill development, sense of self-confidence. It, it happens on the woodsman's team, as far as I'm concerned, much more effectively than it does in a classroom. This sport helps you with your academics because you really have to have self-control. Well, physically it keeps me fit. Academically though, I have learned so much about different types of trees and to conservation and it gives you a lot of like teamwork and you, you learn to work well with others. I decided to join the team the first semester I enrolled in school. Now I've really fallen in love with it because it's kind of, it, it fits in with me.